where are these nutrients found? So when we're talking about animal foods, where do we get vitamin A and the retinoic acid form, which is the bioavailable form, and where do we get this full spectrum of vitamin K2 menaquinones? It's important that people understand vitamin K2 is not just one thing, it's many different things. It's a full spectrum of menaquinones. Where are these found in animal foods? Yeah, so, so Price identified that there, there are a very, it's only a very small amount of foods that really store these in a high form that the, the body absorbs well. Uh, you mentioned that um, retinoic acid. So in people think of vitamin A, for instance, as being in kind of colorful orange vegetables, but that's a, a beta carotene, which must, must be converted. And, and some people are genetically very poor converters of this. And so you will not get a lot of the active form of vitamin A from your colorful um, you know, orange or um, kind of red vegetables. So you actually find these in, in the organs of animals. And, and so in particular liver, and so, you know, um, beef liver and um, lamb liver and so forth. These are the most kind of um, nutrient dense forms. So cod liver oil, which was, which was a, a tradition for, you know, probably two generations ago, you give cod liver oil to your kids because it's the most um, bioactive uh, form of vitamin A. And it also couples with vitamin D. And so fat soluble vitamins seem to be carried in the plant world in this precursor form. So for vitamin D, you, you find it in mushrooms, but that's D2 and D2 competes with D3 in the body. It's not, has to be converted. It's not the most active form. So D3, you, you absorb through sunlight, but you can also get it from these food, um, these food sources like liver, um, you know, eggs, you know, grass raised dairy. So these are the foods that have the, and these are the foods that are price identified and they couple so I, A and D couple together. So they create a need for each other in the body, but then the trilogy, which is what price wrote about, he didn't know the nutrients so tragic, but, um, K2 kind of brings it all together. And so K2 activates those proteins we talked about, which picks up calcium. So vitamin D, um, helps the body to absorb calcium, which you won't um, absorb any calcium if you're vitamin D deficient, which many, many people are today. And you'll only absorb 15% of the calcium. And then what, what your body does is the vitamin A is kind of the, um, the, the turnover guy, activates all the cells that um, use and, and get the body ready to use calcium. And then K2 brings the calcium in. And it's this amazing trilogy that you really need from these treasured foods. And if Price looked at these cultures, every culture around the world, you know, if you look at your heritage, you'll find meals that are based in these kind of organs, you know, um, you know, bones and bone marrow where, where the body stores these, um, these nutrients. And in, in the human body, your, your liver manages all this, you know, with, um, you know, uh, our triglycerides and so forth, all of that um, is managed in the liver. And that's why in an animal um, in the same way, you, you eat it and you get the full spectrum of these nutrients.